Hey y'all, welcome back to Benchmore Bats. Devin, a little different intro here for you guys. Um, so today, finally, we got a brand new review for the channel. We're doing the Anarchy Crusher. This is Anarchy's newest uh, technology. The uh, Hyper X360, I believe is what it's called. This bat's 27 ounces with a half ounce end load. This is meant for 52, 300 balls only, so low compression only. And yeah, so you're gonna see us here. I'm out here hitting with uh, some friends, uh, Jay and Jared. We're out at Neal's Creek Park in Lillington, North Carolina. The field is 290 feet with 13, 14 foot high fences. And we're hitting some 52, 52 300 game balls. I believe they were Dudley Thunders and they were pretty mushy. Uh, they've been used quite a bit. So. Uh, I'll put those swings up right after this and you guys can see uh, how this thing performed and then I'll come back and tell you what their thoughts were and what my thoughts were on the back. The sound on this though is honestly probably one of the best sound in energy. Oops, sorry. Like two more. Oh! Yeah. 
All right, so those were the swings with the crusher. Uh, like I said, uh, this bat was brand new out of the wrapper when we started the review and we finished. We ended up putting about 200 to 250 hits on it. And big thanks to Jay. Um, he invited me out there to come hit with them. And I decided like, hey man, I'm coming out there. It's my first time being stateside. I got this crusher that I've been waiting to review. Let's, let's do a bat review on this. So big thanks to him. And a big thanks to his buddy, Jerry, for coming out. This review wouldn't have been done if it wasn't for him inviting me out there. So I really appreciate it, bro. Um, so, yeah, let me start off with, um, let me tell you what Jared thought of the bat. Uh, Jared said that the bat, he felt like the sweet spot was really big. Uh, he really liked the bat, loved the sound of the bat, was very impressed with how it performed fresh out the wrapper. Uh, he said he, was even, he would even consider getting one himself and was talking about maybe getting one when we were done there. He really liked the bat, was very impressed. And then as far as uh, what Jay thought of the bat, Jay said it was a great bat, said a good size sweet spot, even miss hits were good shots. Barrel wasn't too hard or too soft, it was kind of somewhere in the middle there. Nice pop. For an LC bat, he thought it compared really good to the X-Core. Uh, sounded a lot like a broken in X-Core. He actually swung his Nitrous SC, which he said he was breaking in for somebody, and it sounded almost identical to that. And that thing had a lot of hits on it, it was pretty well broken in. Uh, he said with the minimal hits we put on it, it was performing really well. Uh, he said he'd use it in a game. Uh, he can't wait to see what it's like after some more hits on it. Uh, he said he liked it so much that he opened his. He actually had a 26 ounce new and wrapper. I had joked and said, hey man, don't open that up yet. Let's see how this 27 ounce does. And when we were done filming, he pulled out his uh, 26 ounce and started swinging it. So that lets you know what he really thought of the bat. The fact that he was willing to just start hitting his. Um, he thinks, uh, and I agree with him on this, we talked about it a lot, that uh, a lot of these people are getting rid of this bat way too early. I'm seeing a lot of pay, uh, posts on the pages for this bat being sold with less than 100 hits, like with even like 10 hits on it. And I can say for me personally, Jay agrees with me, I think Jared agrees with me, is that there is nothing that this bat did within 10 hits that I would be like, I have to, this this bat's horrible, I need to get rid of it. Like, I, I, I don't know. I don't understand those people like no offense to them but i i just don't understand you i don't understand and how this bat performed within 50 hits i why are you moving it i don't understand um for me personally this ticked off like every box i would want in a bat great sound honestly probably the uh, yeah the best sounding anarchy aside from a 2000 plus hit og rebby or ambo this thing sounds amazing uh barrel feel i love the barrel feel of this of all the bats i swung uh new anarchies fresh out the wrapper this feels the best to me uh, sweet spot feels feels huge um i could see how there you could have some complaints because with this bat you really 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 have to miss hit it like you have to hit it here um in order for it to feed to fee get feedback in your hands you hit it anywhere else on the barrel your miss hits that are pop-ups it sounds the same and feels the same as your 350 foot bombs so that's something that like i can understand if you're one of those people that's like i have to feel and hear the sound to know that i miss hit it and to know that the ball is not going over the fence then yes okay i can see how you could have a problem with this that's bat. okay i still i love it the sound of the bat's cool performed great i'll be honest uh, with you guys i went into this review thinking i'm like okay I'm going to swing it. Uh, I had seen a lot of mixed reviews out there. I'm like, okay, I'm probably not going to end up keeping it. But I swung this, and just the more I thought about it and the more I was hitting it, the more I fell in love with it. And I, I'm, I'm keeping this in the bag for now. And, yeah, so uh, appreciate you guys coming to check us back out. Sorry, it had been a while. Literally moved from uh, Japan and had a new baby. So life's been kind of crazy. Mm -hmm. More reviews to the channel here soon. I'm actually going to be bringing some U-Trip bats to the channel. And I'll still have an ASA in there occasionally. But yeah, please, if you haven't already, subscribe to the channel, like and comment on this video. Tell, let me know if you've swung the crush or what you thought about it, if you agree with what I thought about it. And yeah, appreciate you guys, and we'll check you out next time.